Going on onto the facts that the same day that the British Medical Association uh, came out in support of trans folk, we of course had J.K. Rowling publish her new uh, Cormoran Strike book, Trouble Blood. Um, now, if you live under a rock and are lucky enough not to have heard about this. Uh, Cormoran Strike is a detective series which is published under J.K. Rowling's alter ego which just so happens to share the same name as a uh, conversion therapist, a gay conversion therapist. Um, and the series has already had problems with uh, trans depiction before. Uh, in The Silkworm, which is one of the earlier books in the same series, there was a trans character which Cormoran Strike, the uh, protagonist of the series that people are meant to identify with, literally threatened um, with assault in prison. Uh, so, again, like when we heard that this was coming out, everyone was already like, oh no. Uh, and then we started hearing about the facts that it contains a uh, cross-dresser who uses their appearance to get close to women, murders them, uh, steals their jewellery, and is noted as enjoying masturbating in women's underwear. Um, now, a lot of TERFs have been very quick to come out and, you know, say, ah, oh, you know, th this isn't about trans people, this is like Silence of the Lambs, you know, it's very different, it's about cross-dressers, you know. Silence of the Lambs said that, con contrary to, like, the um, Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs, you know, trans people are generally, like, very passive and they're, they're not aggressive, etc. The problem is J.K. Rowling sees all trans women as cross-dressers. We, we know this from the way that she supports uh, Janice Turner, who compared uh, trans women to foxes in a hen house, identifying as hens. Um, so we also know from that initial tweet she did that blew up, uh, where it was all, you know, dress however you please, mm. as if that's the same thing. Yeah. Um, so it's very clear that, yes, that is how she sees trans people. So to try and pretend, like, oh, since it's cross-dressers, it's not the same. No, that, that's not how it works. You can't ignore the greater context. We also can't ignore the fact that cross-dressers get a lot of transphobic abuse. Um, you know, yeah, they are different. We also can't, like, ignore that demonizing cross-dressers isn't good either. Mm, They're still yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's, it's kind of like arguing that... Uh, oh no, they're not attacking gay people because, like, it was about a bisexual person. Yeah, but, like, what they're attacking <laughs> is the sexuality aspect. It's, it's, it's the, the distinction is a pointless one. It's just meant to distract. Um, it's also meant to deny history and the facts that when uh, Science of the Lambs came out, there were numerous large protests by trans and queer activists over what de was depicted. Um, you know, and people highlighting how it completely flips reality. Um, like, they were pointing out how Paris is burning, the uh, people who appeared in that, some of them were dead, some of them were being murdered. Um, you know, trans people were being murdered and people were ignoring that, but you know, oh, let's just depict something that is, yeah, that feeds into this transphobic fear-mongering. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thankfully it didn't become such a big thing because, again, the trans community was something they heard now and then in a weird magazine, you know, oh, this case, you know, I uh, my husband turned out to be a woman or something like that. Um, you know, that that's all you really heard about it back then. Uh, but since then, as we've gained more of a presence in society and we can no longer be ignored in that regard, suddenly it's everything's been stepped up um is there anything you'd like what to makes me laugh <laughs> yeah what makes me laugh about um jk's fans uh defense of her is it's basically like if you want to call jk rolling transphobic then you have to call silence of the lambs transphobic and when i read that i was just like okay i can do that well, that's the thing that they're, they're gonna say that oh you know you're just doing it now it's like no, I did my dissertation oh. on this. I like I showed you. I had a screenshot of the resource um, I used in my video on Anna Montgomery, uh, and like I, I showed it to you as like I've already got the resources for this because I criticized it, 
uh, in my dissertation. My dissertation was about changes in trans representation in media. Um, and this was criticism, you know, dating back to when the film came out. So, yeah, it, it really does show that they think it's a gotcha argument. They, they love these whole ideas of like a gotcha argument. They think they got one, but they don't. Um, so, yes. Uh, uh, anyway, so is there anything else you'd like to add? Or I mean, I think the J.K. Rowling's been talked to death. It's something worth noting yeah. uh, because it does impact everything. I guess the only other thing is, of course, her new cover and strike book is also incredibly Islamophobic, which is bad. Uh, the it's it's not much to do with trans people, the, of mm. course, some trans people are Muslim, but yeah, the the um, murderer dresses up specifically in hijab, which is just oh god, it's so bad. No, Yikes. please don't do That's, that. Yeah.